may mga venues na magaganda. Good for 250 packs, yes. But there is no sufficient parking space. May masabi lang na parking space yung iba, pero good for 25 cars lang. Ano yun, average 10 guests per car? <laughs> Hello mga kavero! Namiss nyo ba ako? I am very sorry for not being able to go online for a very long time. Hindi ko tuloy alam kung sanay pa akong humarap on cam. Hindi po ako na COVID or anything. Masyado lang akong naging busy sa napakaraming bagay. Plus, the camera phone that I am using for recording and editing suddenly crashed. At dahil pandemic, iwas muna sa gastos. Napakarami kong refund sa mga client kong na-cancel or na-postpone yung event. Ano pa man, I am so happy to be back. And I'm not going to promise, but I will try to be more active this time. I planned out already my topic and schedule for this channel. And today, as my very first topic, after a very long hiatus, I am going to be sharing guide on choosing the right venue for your event. So, wala nang masyadong kuda. Here you go. First, location. You need to narrow down your choices. I won't exaggerate like narrowing down from continent and country. Dito na tayo sa Luzon, sa Pinas. Decide where in Luzon. Metro Manila ba? Bandang South? Or Bandang North? Tagaytay, Pampanga, Batangas, or Sambales? Tika saan ang majority of the guests? Let's say in a wedding, mostly, where will the family and friends of bride and groom gonna be coming from? If family and friends of the bride will be coming from Pampanga, while family and friends of groom will be coming from Batangas, maybe you should consider Metro Manila or Antipolo. Then after choosing the location, choose what type of venue. Garden, beach, or hotel. For a wedding, there is still another venue like for Catholic wedding. It is best to choose the nearest church to your chosen venue. You might want to consider accessibility and convenience. Ang dami-dami pang factors like profile of your guests. Mostly ba may sariling transportation? May mga seniors ba that you should consider na hindi kaya mag-land travel for more than 8 hours? Siyempre, ang traffic-traffic. Kaya bang ma-afford ng lahat ng guests mo going to your dream uh, wedding uh, dream venue like Balesin? I hope you won't feel overwhelmed answering these questions because choosing the location is just one of the many factors to consider in choosing the right venue for your event. Second, venue size. This is quite given. After drafting your budget, you should be able to estimate the number of guests that you can invite or you would like to invite. In our future discussion, I'll discuss tips and advice on how to narrow down the headcount. So, please do consider hitting the notification button for future updates. Anyway, let's say you think you need a space for 150 guests. Get a venue good for 200 packs so you have a room for additional guests if needed. Mahirap magmagic para palakihin ng venue. If you choose a clubhouse and placing your guests outside the venue in a, let's say, tent extension, those guests might feel they are less important. Plus, baka mas magmahal pa yung venue mo kung may mga extra gastos pa like tent, humidifiers, satellite screen, extended lights and sound, and setup. More setup kasi ang kailangan syempre kasi nga mas lumaki yung venue mo eh. So, more setup means more flowers and more flowers means more gastos. It is better to have provision also for dance floor, stage, buffet setup, and entertainment. Mas madaling gawa ng paraan yung venue mo kung malaki tapos konti lang yung guest mo kesa dun sa maliit yung venue mo tapos kailangan mo pala ng malaking space kasi dumami yung guests mo. So consider the size of the venue also. Static value and overall ambience. As discussed in my previous topic, choosing the theme and motive, you should consider your venue in choosing your theme and motive. So, if your priority is to be successful in executing your desired theme, choose the right venue. Di ba parang bagay yung Fernbrook Garden sa isang fairy tale inspired celebration? My point is, ibagay ninyo yung theme na gusto ninyo. Actually, iba-iba tayo ng preference eh. This venue may be baduy for others, and sa iba, pwedeng hindi. So, syempre, judgment yun na ito. Ano ba yung pinaka-pasok dun sa 
standard ninyo na look ng isang venue. Fourth factor to consider, venue layout. If you are dreaming to have your grand entrance at the staircase, then look for a venue with grand staircase. I've seen so many venues in my more than a decade of experience in organizing or planning events with poor layout, like the placement of the washroom, yung iba nasa tabi ng backdrop. Yes, we can place the stage or backdrop in another area, pero what if the specific wall is the only best option to put your stage or backdrop? and the way to the washroom or commissary is beside it. Will that be acceptable for you? If yes, then you can go for it. But personally, as a planner, I don't like it for my clients because guests going in and out of the washroom is quite distracting during the program. Plus, for safety, medyo hazardous yung mga wiring near the stage. Your guests might trip on those wiring. Isa pang sample, yung venue na hindi balance. Like, mas malaki yung space on the left side compared to the other side. Mas malinis kasing tignan yung venue na balance yung layout. May mga venues kasi na wala ka ng choice kundi sa specific area mo ilagay yung backdrop. Tapos, 5 tables will be on the left and 15 tables will be on the right side. Hindi mo mailagay sa gitna yung backdrop kasi alanganin sa staircase or mga doors that leads to, let's say, mga commissary. Tapos, hindi papayagan ni in-house chef or captain waiter na obstructed yung daan ng mga servers. Also, consider the obstructions like the building foundations or yung mga poste. Sayang yung space and nagiging obstructions din yun sa view ng mga guests. Another question, nasa ng holding area ng couple or celebrant? Perfect ba para sa grand entrance? On top of mind among the other venues with good layout are Hill Creek Gardens in Tagaytay, Marquee Events Place in BGC, and Villa Milagros in Antipolo. Ito yung mga venue na may magagandang flow, tipong may holding area for the couple for their retouch at makapag-take ng light snack na hindi makikita ng guests until their grand entrance at the reception. Parking Space this is very important. Definitely, you will have VIP guests who will drive his or her own BMW or Lamborghini. Tapos yung venue mo walang decent parking space, kundi sa maputik na vacant lot. Or along the two-way road na dinadaanan ng truck and tricycle where they would feel unsafe for their precious vehicle. Or in an exclusive subdivision na lahat ng bahay nakalagay no parking. May mga venues na magaganda. Good for 250 packs, yes, but there is no sufficient parking space. May masabi lang na parking space yung iba, pero good for 25 cars lang. Ano yun, average 10 guests per car? Venue with valet service will solve problem about parking, so don't forget to inquire also about it. Rates Another given factor that you should consider when choosing a venue. High-end venue is at average 250,000 pesos. Mid-range is about 80,000 pesos, while base rate is at 20 to 40,000 pesos. Ito yung mga non-air-conditioned venues or simple function rooms in a condominium or clubhouse. Hotels are following minimum revenue. Like, for example, a function room good for 250 packs would require a minimum revenue of 750,000 pesos. Yes, their menu is at 2,200 per head. Pasok sa budget mo and you would think 2,200 multiplied by your target number of guests, 250, that's 550,000. Pasok sa budget mo kung iisipin. But what if their minimum revenue for the specific function room is 750,000? With that floating 200,000, you are forced to avail the higher menu or avail more drinks and food or invite more guests. But inviting more guests will adjust everything from invitation to styling and souvenir. Lahat mag increase yan. With that problem, you should make the necessary adjustment on your budget plan. Tip, try to negotiate for a lower minimum revenue. May mga hotels na, na nakikipag-negotiate about it. Instead of getting mobile bar or grazing table, get the hotel's in-house pass around cocktails and open bar. By the way, some venues offer discounted rate for off-peak season, weekdays, and daytime rates. Contract. My advice, request for a contract template so you can read stipulations about refund, cancellation, postponement, rules inside the venue, and other charges like corkages. There are some venues that make corkage on caterers, sounds and lights, or even photo booth, or purse, lahat ng suppliers. Meron ding allotted time for ingress or setup, and egress or pull out. 
So if you want ceiling treatment, you need more hours for ingress and egress, and it will incur overtime charges. So don't forget to factor in those figures as part of your venue cost. Inquire also about payment terms or mode of payment. Some companies doesn't want to send contract template. In this case, try to meet with them and discuss what will be stipulated in the contract. Para walang surprises. I have this one experience I'd like to share. One venue doesn't allow guest vehicle inside the high-end property. So the venue will provide shuttle service to transfer guests from the main entrance to the venue. We got fully aware of this venue rule before making a down payment. And since it is acceptable for my client, we blocked the date for the venue. For some, it may not be acceptable, and if they get to see the contract first, they can exclude it in their option. Amenities. Check if they have amenities that you are looking for in a venue, like genset, holding room, well-maintained comfort rooms, commissary for your cater, stage, dance floor, and more. Consider also safety and security. Is the venue accessible for guests in wheelchair? Do they have enough CCTV and security managing the venue? Supplier or vendor friendly venue. I hate to share this, but there are some venues that are so unsympathetic to suppliers. There's this one venue in Makati that is very nice, but heartless on suppliers. They only have one lift for suppliers shared by caterer, stylist, sound system, and others. Suppliers have the option to take the stairs, yes, but it is on the third floor, and I find it unsafe and medyo matarik yung hagdanan. Yung stairs still tapos may hole kaya nakakalula. Aside from the super narrow 200 meter access from drop off going to the lift, imagine yung pagod ng mga supplier from the truck tapos ilalakad nila ng 200 meters papunta dun sa lift bago makakakit maka ng third floor. I like that venue but I will never recommend that to my clients. The quality of service of your suppliers will be affected negatively pag sobrang pagod sila. So choose a supplier-friendly venue. Availability update. Actually, ito yung unang-una mong dapat i-check. Baka naman super check ka ng venue, hindi naman pala available sa target date mo. So check the availability first. Imagine, sobrang aral ka, lahat gusto mo, lahat kinonsider mo na, tapos sobrang okay ka na, sobrang sold ka na, and then in the end, malalaman mo hindi pala available for your desired date. So, check the availability first. Finally, the 11th factor, connection. Having said all these, it is important that you feel connected to the venue. Find the place where you see yourself celebrating your special day. Do you feel in love seeing it? Do you feel connected? If yes, then all the downside of the venue may still be reconsidered after some negotiation and troubleshooting with the help of your trusted wedding planner. Lahat ng imperfection ng isang venue na gusto mo, lahat yan kayang-kayang gawa ng paraan. Ang importante, connected ka sa venue. That's it. Keep on coming back to this channel. Very well said. Or simply click the notification button for updates. Expect some venue tours and other event-related stuff on future episodes. I welcome different thoughts and opinions. If you are disagreeing on something, please feel free to comment down below. If you find this video very helpful and interesting or you simply feel thankful, please do consider subscribing. For event planning consultation, don't forget the name 11 for your event or simply take screenshot of my vCard for future reference. I'm Ruel Octavio, professional event organizer of Eleventh Management. This is very well said. Bye-bye. See you, mga kabero.